What's up guys, Humboldt Fishing here, back with another video. Today, we're at the North Jetty in Eureka, and we're gonna go for lingcod, rockfish, kelp greenling, whatever we can get, and we're gonna try to do a catch and cook. So, wish us luck, here we go. Where are the rocks? Oh my God, Carson. Dude, that was just peeling out dry. I, I think that's a ling, dude. Oh, there he is, there he is. Oh man, that's a nice fish. I'm getting a good shot of him. Let's go, baby! Oh! You guys got a tape measure? Oh no, we're not gonna keep him. Yeah, wait, I'm gonna try to get that hook out of him. <laughs> Big one, it feels like. Whoa, man. Dude, that was like, I just cast this thing out. I thought I had a hit right away. But I, I thought it was just. Oh, man. Oh, this feels really good. Oh. Oh, it's a big freaking, I think it's a brown or something. Oh no, it's a giant Oh, green leaf. Oh my God, this thing's huge. That's huge. Oh my God. What? Okay guys, so here is our kelp greenling. It's a monster kelp greenling. I mean, let's see how big that thing is compared to my hand. I mean, that thing's not only long, but it's fat. So, um, we are going to, we're going to bring this thing home, and I'm going to do a catch and cook, because we got gut hooked, and, yeah, I already got his insides cleaned out. Cool. Little gopher. Yeah. I think it's a copper. Nice. There it is. Nice little copper. Here it is. He goes. Oh yeah, it's a nice one. It's a really nice one. Oh, I you know. oh yeah, come on. Oh, dude, it feels like a baby. Oh, it's a little kelp green lane. What is that? Kelp green lane. Related to wing cut. These things are cool because they're not all spiny. What's the size on it? 12 inches. We're just going to release them. Can I hold them? Sure. Oh, you can touch them. But I don't want you to drop them. So. Thanks, dude. Heck yeah, dude. Cut. There it is. I mean, that's a that's a beautiful that's a beautiful fish right there. It's gonna boom. Good. Yeah. Okay, guys. So it's the next day. Here's our kelp greenling. It's been sitting on ice in the fridge. It's so it hasn't been frozen yet, so it's still very fresh. Um, I'm gonna use uh, this fillet kit that I just got from my sister, um, Sophia. I'm gonna use that super, super, super sharp knives. And as you can see right here, I'm gonna make a cut. Boom, I'm gonna cut that all the way to the end of the tail, leave a little bit, then skin it, okay? Super sharp knife. Here we go. Cut. 
Put it right up to there. You know. You turn the knife like that along that spine. Boom. Slab of meat right there. It's very good. Okay. Step two. Boom. And there's our filet. It's like a slab of meat right there. I mean, that thing is... That thing is the size of any good rockfish. So, um... Yeah, I'm just gonna... Just gonna repeat that process. And... Then get her going. Okay, so... Here is our filets of fish. The sriracha. And the mayonnaise. So, oh. mayo, and so this is going to be the coating for the fish, and then we're going to uh, put the breadcrumbs on, because those, like the panko stuff, because uh, this will help it stick and also add some flavor and spiciness to it. That's a good, that's a good color you want. So now I'm going to, there's a filet. Okay, so there's our filet of fish. Um, now I'm gonna put some of this straight onto there. Boom. And just wipe that around, cover the whole surface area of the fish. Flip it over. Another scoop of that. Doesn't look good right now, but promise this will taste very good. Especially with uh, this panko, really good stuff. Okay, here are our breadcrumbs um, from Trader Joe's. Just gonna dump those straight into there. That's probably enough. Just gonna get some pepper into here. And some salt. Mix this around a little bit. Yeah, so we're going for an Asian style dinner tonight. Uh, panko, sriracha, uh, fish with the sushi rice that I made earlier. Right here. Really nice stuff. Okay. So now the fish. Fish right here is gonna go straight into there. Let's see. Now that is a very nicely coated chunk of fish. And that's only one side of the Coke Greenling. I mean, that thing had a lot of meat on it. Boom. 
Put some butter in there. Let me get some more actually. Nice. Just a little bit of it. Just a little. I'm so excited to eat this. It looks fantastic. Okay. Burps going in after those chili flakes. Looks so good, guys. Here's our big fat kelp creaming filet. Oh, that's beautiful. I mean, that thing's just perfect. Lay it in there. Ah, that looks fantastic. Now it's just gonna simmer. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Maybe a little bit more butter. Or not. Makes it one full stick of butter. <laughs> okay, it's worth it. Oh my god, so I just flipped that. I have no idea how I pulled it off. I didn't even want to film it. I was so scared, but uh, this butter is nice and brown. The fish is nice and crispy. The rice is ready, and now we're just gonna chop up this cucumber and tomato, some other things to garnish it. But yeah, it's really coming together right now. I'd say I'll be food will be on the table in five minutes. So these cucumbers naturally form this this outer layer of skin. I think it's called plastic or something. Yeah, uh, that's just, that's how they grow in the wild, especially around here. So, there are our cucumbers. Tomato. Boom. Now, we're gonna... I'm gonna combine that, chop it up, make a little Asian style salad. Okay, so here it is. It looks fantastic. Just gonna garnish it with some sesame seeds. That looks very good. I'm gonna have it with some lemonade. And good news, we got the lab back because my family's gone. So we're eating in the lab for once in like five months or something. I'm gonna try this. I got some chopsticks for this occasion. Um, so here we go. Get a chunk of fish. There it is. Dip it in the sauce. Okay. Mmm. Oh man. That's fantastic. Whoa. Um, yeah, well. The sriracha and mayonnaise, I can really taste that. It's fantastic. I mean, it's not too spicy, of course. And maybe that's just me because I like spicy things. But um, it's fantastic. This is this might be the best fish I've ever had, actually. And I'm being honest here. I mean, I've had, you guys seen 30, tw at least 20 catching cooks on this channel. And, I mean, this is very top tier. Mmm. Okay, here's some of that, uh, some of the salad that I made. That's very good. Add some crunch to the dish. Lightens it up a little bit. Okay, have some rice. I mean, this rice is great. It's a uh, short grain, it's sushi rice. I went to the store just to get it. Because this is fantastic. Cool, yeah, well, I'm just going to keep eating this fish because this is so amazing. You guys really have to try this. Um, yeah, just a little bit of mayonnaise, a little bit of sriracha. Oh, it's as simple as that, panko. Mmm. It's honestly the best fish I've ever had. Oh, great. So, um... Thank you so much for watching. Um, I have a lot of videos coming out. Actually, today I went out on a surfboard. I got a lot of footage for that. And we paddled out to some rocks and uh, fished for a little bit. We lost a couple of fish, but um, I might do like a part two on that. I'll try to get redemption. But um, other than that, I got a lot planned for this channel. 
Um, so just stay tuned for more videos. Follow my Instagram at Humble Fishing. Like this video, subscribe, and turn the little notifications bell on so you can see when my videos come out. And thank you so much for watching. I wish you guys were here to try this. Okay.